Hey guys, Tony Bryson here, and today we're gonna to talk about credit cards. And if there really are just for broke people, and I have a strong feeling that in the comments and also in the likes, you're probably gonna see some people are very passionate about credit cards and some people just do not like them whatsoever. So in this video right here, I'm going to break down three reasons why credit cards are actually good, but also tell you exactly the bad reasons within those reasons. And that way, this video is 100% non-biased. And by the way, guys, if you're new to my channel, I upload this channel every single day so make sure to also start the channel and hit the bell so you're notified every time I post a new video and on top of that also destroy the like button for the YouTube algorithm thank you guys so much now I'm going to skip a few things that most of us already know okay we all know that with credit cards it's an easy way to actually go out there and build credit and then get started okay and then eventually get better rates for example on a mortgage and other expensive things for example even buying your very own first car and on top of that I'm also gonna skip over hey yeah you know what whenever you get a credit card you also get a bonus that's also free money for you but it's also a cost for the company to kind of acquire you as a customer and try to make money from you by having you pay interest while you're still a customer overall, okay? I'm gonna skip those two right there because basically we already know how those things work. Credit cards build credit, we get that. Credit card bonuses are free money, but can also be used just to entice you in and then trap you. We all understand that. Now, the first thing I wanna break down is basically credit card points are useless. Now, I think this idea mainly comes from a YouTuber named Dave Ramsey. Now, his whole idea is that, Tommy, I've never heard about one single rich person that can say that they became wealthy by basically going out there and using credit card points. And he calls everything he does not like stupid. But then again, I wanted to understand exactly why Dave Ramsey thinks that credit is actually stupid. And the idea is once I found out that basically back in 1988, he actually went bankrupt because the banks basically called his loans. I could understand and see exactly, well, this is a person that just does not want to deal with that type of leverage and thinks that credit cards can also be dangerous. So the point is this, okay? Although he calls it stupid, I think making that comparison is very stupid. And here's why, okay? Because they're saying basically that rich people do not become wealthy by using credit card points. But in reality, rich people buy used cars to save money. They also buy, you know, not really like premium, premium clothes to also save money. And the idea is that none of those things actually make them wealthy, but it's a part of the reason why they're actually wealthy. Now, although credit card points are obviously not going to make you wealthy, they do save you money and also do earn you money money for free without you having to pay any interest or making some insane bets out there, okay? And that's the whole idea. So for example, if you spend every single month normally $3,000, well, guess what? If you're getting back 2% cash back and there are cards out there that give you 2% cash back, for example, the City Double Cash card or for example, the Alliance Visa Signature card that gives you around 2.5% cash back. The idea is by using these cards every time you actually spend that money, instead of spending $3,000 every month in cash, you can just grab that $3,000, spend it on a credit card and then basically pay no interest, but you're also getting back 2% cash back. So times 0.02%, we're talking about 60 bucks every single month. And you might say, Tommy, well, that's not actually worth it. The answer is, well, at the end of the year, we're talking about times 12, we're talking about $720. Now, is this going to make you rich? Is it gonna make you wealthy? Is it gonna make you Warren Buffett? The answer is obviously, it's not, but this money can actually go a long way. It can go towards investing, it can go towards travel, it can go towards buying whatever you wanna buy. And the point is, although credit card points don't really make you rich, that's not really a fair argument to why you should actually care about them. Because at the end of the day, the extra money you might get by actually using credit card points can be used to basically travel for free or invest the money or do whatever you want with the money. So that's why credit card points are actually not useless. But then again, the bad thing is that basically some people tend to go out there and spend a ton of money and then say, well, I'm getting back 2% cash back. So in the end, I'm going to make money. And that's the bad side to this. But in reality, that's not the correct way to look at it because basically every dollar you spend, all you're getting back is two cents. So obviously by spending a lot of money and getting back cash back and thinking it's actually a profit, 
It's actually no, no, no. You only want to get cash back on the things you would have already spent that money on every single month. And that is the core idea. And now the second reason I hear all the time why credit cards are for broke people is that because when you use your credit card, they're going to charge you a ton of money in interest. Now, I strongly believe, you know, I've seen it all the time. A lot of people just don't understand how interest works on credit cards, how credit actually works and exactly how to go out there and build your credit with a credit card. And to be honest, I still know people till this day that think basically using a credit card and building your credit means buying something you don't need and then paying it off over time and that way the credit card company is going to help you build your credit but in reality carrying a balance is one very expensive and on top of that by carrying a balance it still hurts your credit card a ton and that's why I have a full video for free on my channel talking about exactly how to build credit in 10 minutes and actually try to get to a solid credit score as fast as possible. And that video is going to help you out a ton. But the point is this guys, okay? When it comes to credit cards are expensive and they charge a ton of interest, the answer is yes, they charge you a ton of interest if you don't know how to use them. And the idea is that although a credit card might charge you between 12% all the way up to 35% every single year in interest, well, you do not have to pay that money whatsoever. And the reason is because as long as you pay your balance off in full every single month, guess what? you have to pay them no interest whatsoever. Now, whenever I say this, people say like, well, Tommy, why is that like that? Like, why does it actually work like that? Well, the answer is very simple, guys, okay? When it comes to your credit card, there's something called a billing cycle, the start of it, and also the close of a billing cycle when it actually ends. And on top of that, you also have something called a due date. Now, your due date is going to be different from mine and probably from everyone else watching this video, but the idea is, one thing we do share in common is that if your due date is on a day that's actually inconvenient for you, you can always grab your phone and call the credit card company and have them change it to whatever day is actually best for you. But the reason you pay no interest whatsoever when it comes to like, hey, paying your bill off in full every single month is because basically, according to the law that was signed back in 2009 called the Credit Card Act, the idea is that credit cards are required by law to give you a minimum of 21 days from the closing date of your entire like um cycle to your due date. So the answer is, if your credit card cycle ends, for example, on January 1st, and your due date is on January 22nd, well, between January 1st and January 22nd, you have all those days right there called a grace period. Meaning that if you pay your bill in full within that grace period, well, you're actually not going to pay any interest whatsoever. And that's the cool thing. So that's why it doesn't matter if your interest rate is like super high or super low, because at the end of the day, your goal is never to pay interest. And to do that, you have to pay your bill in full every single month. However, if you don't want to deal with like, hey, my closing date is on this day, my beginning date is on this date, and my due date is on this date, the answer is you can always just set your entire credit card bill on auto pay and make sure it pays itself in full every single month. You can do this through your phone, the app, or you can just call in and ask them, hey, I want my bill set to auto pay to pay the full balance every single month. And credit cards, actually, they don't make money from it, but a lot of people, when they call in, they're actually happy to actually do it for you because they know it's actually gonna help you out a ton. But let's be honest, guys, okay? We all know that the bad thing is that basically a lot of people already amassed or have a massive amount of credit card debt. So it's impossible to basically go out there and say, hey, Tommy, I'm gonna go ahead and pay off my whole credit card debt that I amassed over five years, but I'm gonna pay it off in one month, in full. The answer is, you're probably not going to be able to do that if you already have a massive amount of credit card debt. So the solution is not to pay your minimum payments and finish like in seven years. The solution is to pay more than your minimum payment and that way you finish a lot faster. Now the way to do this and save money at the same time is by using something called the avalanche method. It helps you out a ton when it comes to paying off credit card debt. And guess what? I also have a free video on my channel to also help you out with how to pay off your credit card debt fast and also build your credit score. So again, I'm going to link those two videos down below and that way you can get started also 
for free and you don't have to spend any money whatsoever. And now the last reason, number three, why people actually think that credit cards are actually broke people is because credit cards actually enable you to actually spend more money than you actually would if all you had was cash. Now I could say, oh, this isn't true. My friends and I don't do it or I don't do it. The answer is, yeah, that's true. Like I don't do that. But in reality, the studies, the research and the data do not lie. So there is data and research out there as an article by Forbes to show you exactly that basically people tend to spend between 12 to 16% more by using a credit card. But more importantly, some people tend to spend actually 100% more money by using a credit card instead of just using cash. But then again, we have to remember that basically we do kind of live in a cash society step by step in the next like 20 years or so. Okay. So this would become the normal, but the point is that obviously it is true. Okay. People do spend more money whenever they do use a credit card. Now the solution I found is this guys. Okay. There are two ways to use a credit card the right way and also the not so right way. The way I use it is the right way, obviously. Right? So the way I use it is basically I don't really use my credit card for like buying like random things. I don't really do that whatsoever. I use my credit card to pay recurring bills every single month. So whatever I have, for example, that's recurring that comes in every single month, basically, for example, my phone bill, um, my Netflix bill, my Hulu bill, whatever it is I'm paying for every single month or my gym bill, I have my credit card actually pay for it. And then I also set it to auto pay. And that way at the end of the month, it pays itself in full every single month automatically Plus, I know exactly how much it's going to cost me every single month because, again, those bills are recurring and I know exactly what they're for every single month. Now, the idea is by doing this, one, I earn points. Two, I don't pay any interest. And on top of that, three, guess what? It actually helps me build my credit score. Again, I just use it to basically pay off my recurring bills and pay it off in full every single month. And that way, I'm not spending for random things. And before I know it, I spend a ton of money. Now, the wrong way to use a credit card is basically to go out there and use a credit card to buy something you can't afford and say, well, I'm just going to pay it off with my credit card slowly and little by little. And in reality, the interest you get charged on a credit card is going to massively affect that. So you don't want to do that because it's going to cost you a ton of money between 12 to 35%. And if you ask me, that is way too much money. And on top of that, it's going to also hurt your credit score because you're going to be using a big portion of the amount of money you actually owe when it comes to your credit card. Now, another way people actually use their credit cards incorrectly is to actually go out there and invest. Now, I've seen this a ton where people basically say, well, you know what? I want to take this course or start a business and I'm going to start it off with a credit card because I saw some guy on YouTube or in this movie that started his whole career with a credit card. The answer is sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but most of the times it's just pressure that you don't need to deal with because basically starting out a business or buying, for example, a $10,000 course with a credit card is a nightmare because basically you have the pressure of like saying like, Hey, if this does not work, I'm going to be paying a massive amount of interest every single year on it. And the best way to basically do it, if you want to start a business is just save up some money on the side and then stir it up slowly. You know, I did this once also. And the idea is I used a credit card that did not charge me any interest for 12 months. So I had a lot of room to basically work with that money and not pay any interest, but just using a credit card and only giving you one month to basically work things out is a nightmare and you do not want to do it. So just basically save some money and then start the business like that. And the third way people actually use a credit card incorrectly is by using a credit card for an emergency fund. If anything happens, I'll just use my credit card. The answer is that is the worst way to actually use it because basically if anything happens, usually means that you won't have any more money for a while, meaning you will be missing payments. It will hurt your credit score. And on top of that, the interest will actually compound, which will actually cost you a ton of money also. But overall guys, those are three reasons why credit cards are actually good. And also three reasons why some people actually use it incorrectly. But in the end guys, I do have to say one thing when it comes to credit cards, although you can use it as a tool, as an asset, which is actually pretty good. The answer is some people just cannot do that. Okay. So if you find yourself being like, Hey, every time I use it, I just keep getting into debt. The answer is, well, just don't use it. Okay. Because not everyone is meant to have a credit card because if you get into massive debt all the time, there's a sign you're not going to be able to use it. 
But I recommend before you actually give up on credit cards, try out what I told you. Only use it for bills, okay? For bills you know are actually gonna come in every single month. And then grab the credit card, don't put it in your wallet, just put it, for example, in your closet or in a cabinet and just ignore it. Just use it for the bills and have it pay itself automatically every single month. And trust me, that's going to help you not spend money on top of build your credit score and also give you extra point for the end of the year. So overall, guys, I hope this video helped. If it did, comment down below and let me know. Do you agree with me or do you disagree with me? And did you find this video helpful in any way? And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. And as always, if you enjoyed this video right here, guys, well, like this video. On top of that, if you're new to my channel, well, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell so you're notified every time I post a new video. And on top of that, also follow me on Instagram, I'm Tommy Bryson. And before I go, if you wanna watch that video on how to build your credit score in 10 minutes, well, watch this video right here and click my picture now. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. And as always, peace.